This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So I've gone ahead and burnt that ISO image of ESXi6, put it into my server, and booted it up. And it will automatically go ahead and load into the ESXi installation. So if you don't see that, and let's say you have an operating system already on this server, then you're going to, going to want to go ahead and change the boot order in the BIOS. Just make sure the CD-ROM drive is above the hard disk. Once the installer loads, it brings us to our Welcome to the VMware ESXi 6 installation. Let's me know that we can install ESXi 6 on a lot of systems, but we want to make sure we check the VMware compatibility guide to make sure it's supported if this is going to be a production server. So we already talked about that earlier. I'm going to go ahead and press F11. Accept and continue. So now where do we want to install uh, the actual ESXi operating system? We, earlier we created two drives here, two arrays, a 68 gig one and a 136 gig one. The 68 gig one was a RAID 1. And so I'll go ahead and install it on that one. You can see it's highlighted in yellow. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And one thing I didn't mention before, a, a common reason why we just create a RAID 1 with two disks for our operating system is so that it's separated from either virtual machines or ISO images and things like that because we don't want a virtual machine or ISO images, use of ISO images to make the disks busy that our operating system's on because then that can slow the operating system down and if the operating system, which is ESXi, slows down then we can have all sorts of problems or at least performance issues with our virtual machines and we don't want that so we get the separation here by installing it on its own physical drives and then using the other drives for virtual machines or ISO images things like that so I'll go ahead and hit enter uh, US default for my keyboard layout we're gonna create a root password so I'll just go ahead and type one in hit tab go down to the next one type it in Enter to continue. And that root password, of course, is going to be very important. So we want to make sure that we know that password or have locked it away in a safe place. All right. It lets me know the disk will be repartitioned. Are we sure we want to do this? F11, yes. Of course, if there's any data on it, it'd be lost. And it's going to install ESXi 6. So there aren't really any significant changes from previous versions of ESXi. It's a very simple installer. And that's it. ESXi 6 has been installed successfully. I'll just go ahead and hit enter to reboot.